Well, good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to our special Father's Day edition of Securing the Legacy. My name is Fern Sapp, and I'm super excited to be able to invite you on the Zoom on tonight, but also to have the opportunity to interview some incredible men and fathers who are committed to securing a legacy for their families and generations to come. Happy Father's Day to each and every one of you, every father, every father figure out there. Let me go ahead and begin by introducing our esteemed panelists on tonight. Out of Atlanta, Georgia, we welcome Mr. Donald Bradley. This gentleman is the reason for the season. He is our visionary and founder, Air Force Desert Storm veteran, entrepreneur, and father of four. Mr. Bradley has spent the last 20 plus years building relationships and excelling in the areas of marketing, sales, and product distribution. He is recognized as the Bill Gates of relationship marketing. In fact, having brought well over 92,000 agents to the travel industry since his company's inception in October 2015. Mr. Bradley is a multi-million dollar earner and a millionaire maker many times over. Our next panelist is Mr. Orlando Moore. Mr. Orlando Moore is a father residing in Madison, Alabama, having served this country for over two decades fighting for our freedom, now a retired Army Surgeon First Class. Mr. Moore is a founding six-star director of Planet Marketing with a team of well over 38,000 families. He is one of the company's first millionaires sporting that presidential double diamond ring, now earning over $100,000 a month residually. He is a millionaire maker, three-time company MVP, and an MVP maker. Our next panelist will be Mr. Gregory Scott, hailing out of Atlanta, Georgia. He is a father of two, now a retired federal agent with over 33 years of service. Mr. Scott started this business on a part-time basis while also serving as a senior associate minister at his church. He is now working the business on a full-time basis. As a three-star director with our company, he has an overall team of over 5,000 families. Mr. Scott wears the diamond ring, indicating earnings of over a half a million dollars on an annual basis. Our next panelist is Mr. J. Michael Stewart Sr. Mr. Stewart is a proud father of three young men coming to us from Wilson, North Carolina by way of Fort Washington, Maryland. Having previously earned a living in the federal government and transit authority, Mr. Stewart decided to trade the buses in for the beaches and banks. He is a two-star founding director with an overall team of 3,500 families. Mr. Stewart dons that presidential sapphire ring indicating earnings well over $100,000 in a 12-month calendar period. Ladies and gentlemen, please put some fire and hearts in the chat box and help me to welcome to the front of the Zoom our esteemed group of panelists. Great evening, gentlemen. Happy Father's Day to you. How are you all doing on tonight? Doing extremely well. Extremely well, Pastor Francis. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I'm sorry to be here. Good. Likewise. Likewise. Super excited. You all look absolutely amazing. Happy Father's Day to each and every one of you. Um, thank you so much. Mr. Bradley, happy Father's Day to you. Um, I once read that the tides of history rise and fall on the boldness of its visionaries. And that, sir, is you. You are definitely a visionary. Thank you for creating this vision. Um, thank you for creating this online marketing experience that affords everyday people like me, like you, like all of us out here to really earn above average income. Um, we have on tonight fathers and others that have tuned in and they come to hear about this company that you created in 2015. Now in over 20 different countries, right? Bringing over 92,000 um, agents into the industry. And we know that this can be used to secure a legacy. And so, sir, I want to open up with you first, talking with us and sharing with us what securing the legacy really means to you as the visionary and founder and father of four. Well, well first of all, I'm honored that you would take the initiative to put together such a program and that you have built relationship with these champions that's also uh, serving tonight. So it's um, part of the vision and part of the legacy, not just for my family, uh, but for everybody who, you know, dares to go out and do what everybody that I'm seeing on this screen has done, uh, go out there and put the work in. So um, I'm just humbled, you know, to be on here serving tonight. And uh, as people listen to what these uh, gentlemen are going to share with them this evening, uh, we all have something in common. Uh, and I, I said this years ago, we're nothing more than a group of mothers and fathers fighting for our children's financial freedom. And I'll pause right there. Uh, you know, and this goes deep. And um, I'm going to share the message 
uh, my message throughout the evening will be that my goals will not be accomplished until after I'm gone. Not just for my family, but for the family of the people who I'm fighting with. Back to you, Pastor Francis. Wow, wow. You know, um, you are right. We've got, you know, gentlemen here who are fighting that same cause with you. In fact, I want to bring um, to the front here, um, Mr. Moore, um, understanding and knowing legacy. Talk about that. When you hear, the, you know, the legacy come forth and you heard the charge from our visionary and founder, what does that speak to you, Mr. Moore, on tonight? Well, Pastor Furnace, it speaks uh, volumes. Number one, from the heart of our founder, to put a vehicle in place where all of us, have the opportunity to create a legacy for our families. As you mentioned, served in the United States Armed Forces for over two decades, fighting and securing the freedoms that we enjoy here in the U.S. and abroad, I still realized I wasn't free. And so legacy to me means bigger than that because as a retiree, I do get a retirement check. But when I stop breathing, they're going to stop paying. But with this business, my income will extend beyond the grave because what our visionary put in place called the Planet Pledge. I'm sure we'll talk about that later. So legacy means everything to me for her because I didn't have a legacy. Not sure about anybody else, but I have a legacy left for me. If I get a chance to do that for my children's 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 children because of this vehicle. I love it. I love that, you know, um, you both have started out just being very transparent and helping, you know, the listeners and those that are in here on tonight to understand where we're coming from. Um, Mr. Stewart, you have three young men. Um, and I, I can imagine that like every father, it must be significant to you to model uh, the importance of legacy. So when you first heard about this opportunity, um, what did you hear? Because I know that there had to be a shift with you where you began to see that ability to create a legacy. So just talk to us. What did you hear? when this opportunity was first presented to you? Well, friends, I, I like my esteemed co-host, and I'm, I'm absolutely in rare air um, here on this evening. You know, I didn't have a legacy either, friends, and, and so that's the exact reason that I'm here um, inside of Planet Marketing. Over the years, you know, after having the boys and, and raising them, I found out that there were three things that I wanted to leave them ultimately, and that was money, um, memories, and ultimately a roadmap on how to go and get on the other side of money. So when it comes to legacy, that's absolutely the reason why I'm here and Planet Marketing provides that. But you asked the question, you said, what did I see? Um, what did I hear when I took a look at this uh, eight years ago? Well, eight years ago, I was working 80 hours was a week um, driving the bus, didn't have a lot of time. But first time, what I saw was a 30 year old rock solid A rated host travel agency that was allowing folks like me an opportunity to open up a full service online travel business. That's first time. That's what I saw. That's what I heard. And it just made a lot of sense to me because that travel business was going to allow me to do a few things. It was going to allow me to earn money um, on something that I was already doing, something that I wanted to do more of. And ultimately, I could earn as much money as I want in the largest and sexiest industry in the world. And past first out, when y'all say largest, well, let me say sexy. Travel, I don't mean to be offensive, but travel is a hot product. It's a product that everybody wants, right? You can go on your social media pages and somebody's gone somewhere, they're, or they are somewhere, or they're planning to go somewhere. But when you talk about a large industry, past the first half, post pandemic is when I heard about this business. And it was that $8 trillion industry set to double, set to grow to $15 trillion, right? Almost double. And then post pandemic, where we are now, Past friend Sap, it is absolutely on fire. It's something called revenge travel. People are traveling 100 miles an hour with their hair on fire. And past friend Sap, what I saw, what I heard is when you asked me, I saw an opportunity to get paid again, 70 to 80% commission on travel that I was taking on anything that happened through my business. I saw an opportunity to partner with a company that was giving me a full fledged business. It was all inclusive, if you want, if you want to say it that way. It came with a state of the art website. That's the first time. I didn't have to create anything, right? It was full-fledged. It also not only came to steady our website, it came with on-demand training, something that I could do and wrap around the little bit of time that I had to still learn about the business. Mm -hmm. more important than all that. You, mute, you muted yourself. You yeah, I got I got so excited and I muted myself, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. But I, but we hear you out there, you know, with something that you know you were doing anyway. And Mr. Bradley, you talk about that all the time. How you know this is what we're doing anyway. When you saw this, Mr. Bradley, years ago, when people came to you, you saw an opportunity to really, you know, travel the world. But something happened, right? Something shifted inside of everyone's life where they saw, yes, we could travel the world, 
but now there's much more here. I want to jump over to Mr. Scott and then I'm going to come back to you, Mr. Bradley, mm -hmm. in a minute. But Mr. Scott, you know, you are definitely a product of the product. And so we've watched you, you know, as a father of two, you know, we watch you travel the world. Um, we also have watched and seen that your wife has been serving with you and been ve a very active part of this business. And so that, I know that's important for those fathers who are on the line and want to know, you know, can my spouse fit in here with me? Is this something that we can do and do together? And so you've demonstrated how fathers can travel for their jobs, how fathers can travel with their families. But let's talk for a moment about how you have been able to turn the fun of travel into a fortune. Talk about that for a moment, Mr. Scott. Well, and uh, Pastor Fern, thank you for this platform. Um, the reality is, um, you know, I was looking at my future. I had seen my past, I had lived in it. I was in my present when Planet Marketing came along and I wanted to be able to impact my future. And as a result of, yes, that $200 investment, there's one thing to talk about uh, the travel business, but then there's another thing to talk about the business of travel. And so when I began to understand the business of travel and what this opportunity could afford me, uh, seven and a half years ago, I said, you know what, my future uh, going into retirement, it could look one way or it could look the other. And I made a conscious, intelligent decision to, uh, to literally go for it. I wanted to go for it because I wanted to secure my future. I didn't want my future to look like so many of my colleagues coming back uh, into the workforce, uh, retiring to come right back. I didn't want the stress of having to report to another job. After 33 years of being on the front line in law enforcement, I didn't want any parts of that. And so this uh, $200 investment is something that I literally put my feet to my faith. And I said, I'm literally gonna go for it. And so now, uh, seven and a half years later, the type of income that uh, my wife and I are making in this opportunity uh, has literally separated ourselves uh, and has really uh, set the tone for what our future could be, not just for us, that's very important, not just for us, but also for our children. And we talk about um, you know, creating wealth, but the other thing is passing it on and not just passing on the dollar, but passing on the knowledge that goes with the dollar so that our children and our children's children can not just have the money, but have the wisdom and the knowledge to go with it so it stays in the family. Pastor Fern. Oh, wow. Mr. Bradley, um, you know, you got some kings here on the line tonight um, that are really talking about how this $200 investment, how owning your own business in the world's largest industry of travel um, can allow fathers, yes, to take their their families to Disney. And I want you to talk about that um, because you talked about how, you know, your family, your parents taking you to Disney, right? And how you have an opportunity to take yours. But you also envision it to go beyond just the Disney trip, to be much more. So share with us and, and talk to us more about, you know, what that means. All right. Well, here, here we go. That's first that you asked me. Um, most women think that our greatest desires is uh, intercourse or relations, but it's to pro it's really to provide for our families. And I'll pause. And I know I share that with Mr. Scott, you know, with Mr. Moore, uh, and Mr. J. Stewart. Um, that's what we want to do in life. That's what we're taught to do as men to provide for, for our family. So this is nothing more than a vehicle. It happens to be, as Mr. Uh, J. Stewart said, uh, in the largest, most attractive industry in the world, um, you know, a trillion dollar industry, but it's nothing more than a, a vehicle that's affordable that the average person could get involved in and exercise their entrepreneurial spirit, not by themselves, but with a host of leadership, some of the finest in the industry, where there's a group of compassionate leaders, men and women that are there to help people, you know, start from where they are. And I'm, I'm very proud today uh, that we have income earners on the screen that are making six and seven figure incomes. But I'm even more proud that as a result of their leadership, there's lots and lots of families who are supplementing their income. You know, um, something that anybody can come in. You don't have to have a PhD. Uh, you don't have to be the VP of your, of your company. You don't have to have been voted most likely to succeed. You just have to have a healthy desire to help other people. And, and, and I'll go back to this, this opportunity, um, you know, for men, it helps us do what we were taught to do 
and what our basic desires are is to take care of our family. Oh, I, I love that, you know, Mr. Bradley, because um, there are several, you know, men out here and, you know, they think, well, you know, what, why is it, you know, that I want to tap into a travel industry or why is it that I want to own my own business? But you get to the crux of it to say it's all about providing. And, and to be honest, when you look on the other side, that's what women look for. Women look for, you know, that man, that male who can provide that sense of security, right? And who can provide that, that sense that says that you've got everything and everything's okay. And I'm going to go as you say, I'm going to bring home the deer. And and so I love that you bring that up. You know, um, oftentimes people don't realize that you you talk about two very basic things that this can do for you. And you say that it can supplement your income. It can supplement your lifestyle. Sometimes people get distracted with what they want to do with the money. I love how you really help to paint the dream. Talk to us for a moment, Mr. Bradley, about the dream. It's like you go get the money and then you can carry out the dream. Absolutely. Um, what, what we do, and I speak for, for all of us, is that we help people make long-term sustainable residual income. And with that money, they're able to carry out their own dreams. Uh, they're able to be better tithers. They're able to be more charitable. They're able to take better vacations. Uh, they're able to pay tuitions, put their kid from public school to private school, whatever those desires are, take care of elderly parents. You know, so the dream is whatever the dream is, everybody has a different dream, you know, and it, it um, is measured by different things. So what we do, and I speak for all of us, is that we help people make long term sustainable residual income so that they can live the dream, whatever the dream is for them. Back to you, Pastor Preston. I love it. I love it. You know, uh, Mr. Moore, uh, Mr. Uh, Stewart helped us to really break down, you know, what the product is, right? You know, we're allowing people to own their own travel business, right? To be travel business owners. And with that product, they can choose to use it. As he said, they can travel with it themselves. They can book travel for other people. They can understand they're going to get that commission. But network marketing is the other component that we bring to the table on tonight. And I want you to talk about that because network marketing has always been considered a taboo, you know. However, it's created more millionaires than any other business model out there. And so Mr. Moore is one of the company's first millionaires. You understand how a Aggressive this compensation plan is. You understand that aside from getting that 70 to 80% in travel commissions that are paid out on every single travel transaction, you understand that there's more that people can tap into. So would you talk about that and help some of the fathers that have joined in on tonight to understand there's more out there? Uh, absolutely, Pastor Furness. Um, two things, economic empowerment and entrepreneurship. Well, Mr. Bradley really helped me understand that there was more to it than just linear income. He introduced me to these wealth building principles called passive income, which Mr. Stewart referred to in regards to the travel, but then he taught me about leverage and residual. With our compensation plan, we get to leverage the time and talents of the people we already have relationships with. Now, all of us have referred people to things, that's noble, but how many of us have been compensated for that? With Planet Market, we have upfront money because most compensation plans are heavy on the front end, and light on the back, or heavy on the back end, and light on the front. Mr. Bradley laid this out, but we heavy throughout. Upfront money, direct sale commissions, $50 per person that you bring to the table, automatically qualify for a 50% match of their income when they help someone, not from their income, of their income, very important. $10 team bonuses, 10% travel commission overrides for travel you don't book when you reach a position called Gold Builder, and $10 team bonds that go six levels deep, all upfront money, and then pass the front sap, a residual component. Now, when he talked to me about residual income, I got really excited. He said, Orlando, imagine doing something one time, but getting paid time and time again for it. Our residual component is in a form of three by nine team build matrix. First of all, it's a position of equity that's granted automatically. Just by you getting started, we position you to earn residual income. Bottom line up front, the matrix holds $118,092 of residual income from this one pot of money. And we don't make you wait. We pay you in the process of your matrix filling. And then pass the front staff, the back end, our director's program, I consider it the envy of the industry. Because from just nine people, position we call Gold Builder, when those nine people grow to 100, collectively through your network, you become a one-star director. Our director programs 
begins with $500 at one star, $100,000 at nine star. And we don't have any seven, eight or nine star directors right now. So you caught this one. But Pastor Frank said, when I think about the number of people that I've been able to help through my leadership team, I think back to my military career. And when I transitioned from the military as a contractor, my first government contract was for $10,000 a month. But I was back in a war zone. At what cost? And as a father, I was away from my family 12 months at a time. But because of Planet Marketing's compensation plan, every single month as a six-star director, the company starts my month with $16,000. I'm no longer in a war zone. I'm no longer on warships. I'm on cruise ships. <laughs> I'm no longer in the sanded desert. I'm on the sanded beaches. Because of this aggressive compensation plan that allowed me to go from military to millionaire from home. And then that legacy piece, I'm sure we'll talk about later. But that's a big deal, Pastor Frank said. Very aggressive, but very generous compensation plan. You know, um, you talk about this legacy, and I see several of our guests out here who are telling us, you know, I'm a guest of such and such. This is amazing. Um, but that's that's just a bit of it. Mr. Bradley, you created something that you said, you know, I don't want us just to go to Disney, right, and have a great time. I don't just want us to get the money and have a good time while we're here. But I want us to leave a legacy. I want us to leave an inheritance. I read something that says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children and his children's children. And you have added something here in the bylaws. Talk about that, Mr. Bradley. Uh, it's, it's called the Planet Pledge, where it, it says that if you help us build this company uh, and make it one of the greatest marketing companies in, in the United States, we're going to pay you while you're here and after you're gone. So we guarantee that these gentlemen, I'm looking at incomes ranging from six to, uh, to six a month, <laughs> six figures a year to six, six figures a month on the screen and I'm, I'm, I'm super happy that I've already sent a document to them, which I will do for anybody who becomes a director in our company, which over 500 people have already qualified, that simply states that after you're gone, we want to know who you want to receive all of your income, all of it. Um, and it's not just a part of our presentation, it's a part of our bylaws. There's a document from our attorney that you fill out and that income will follow you. We didn't make it a marketing employee. It's not a marketing employee, it's real. It's guaranteed to, to, to be able to uh, build that income and will it down to your children. And, and, and Mr. Moore, I know you're full because yours is pretty heavy. And, and very briefly, Mr. Bradley, if you don't mind, uh, Pastor Frank Sapp, as I sit and listen and think about that, being retired military, I do receive a retirement check. But when I stop breathing, they're going to stop paying. My retirement check goes back to the U.S. Treasury, not to my children. But Mr. Bradley, because of what you put in place, if I leave this earth tonight, all of the income will still go to who I designate as my beneficiary. That's unprecedented. And I did 22 plus years for that retirement check that will stop. It's only been seven and a half years here at Planet Marketing. That's going to extend beyond the grave. Very okay. powerful. And Pastor Francis, let me tell you where that came from so everybody can understand that. Uh, and I know these gentlemen understand um, 18 years ago, when I started in the industry, uh, my children were, were, were small, uh, be four beautiful children at home, beautiful wife at home. But had something happened to me before I became financially independent, my wife would have struggled with those four beautiful children. We both had a vision for, you know, to send them to college with no student loans and all those things. But had God called me home prematurely, uh, there was no planet pledge for me. So that is something that I set in place uh, so that anybody who goes out here and rolls up their sleeve with me, I want to make sure that they hit their goals dead or alive, that this will continue. I know these gentlemen that's on the screen tonight. I know the aspirations that they not only have for their children, but for their grandchildren, their great grandchildren. And um, I wanted to make sure that we put something in place that would cover them because we don't know when God may call us home. We want to be prepared. Wow. Wow. This is powerful, Mr. Bradley. I know that um, people are out here and, and they're listening. And what we've heard on tonight is an opportunity for us all to really capitalize on the largest industry in the world. You know, that's travel. But even more than that, to be able to secure a legacy and help those that have been entrusted to us. We saw, I, I wanted, I put your children up there because I wanted people to see your children and understand that you all are men, you are fathers, 
and you're out here going to get it for them. And so, Mr. Bradley, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Mr. Moore, Mr. Scott, Mr. Stewart. Mr. Bradley, I'm going to turn it to you um, because I want you to share with them how a person can get started. Um, and I'm, any other sentiments, and even if you want to do roundtable, and I'm here back again, I want you to be able um, to share with us because we're we're entrusting ourselves with you. We're trusting your leadership to lead us. We put our guests here on tonight because we want them to hear and to hear from the kings, the fathers, the men who are getting it done. You know, uh, Pastor Recep, I'm, I'm going to take my time with this and I want the gentleman to chime in with me uh, because this was all very intentional. Um, we are entrepreneurs. When we made that investment, we created this so that anybody can do this. And it's a word called leverage. When, when they join forces, they're in partnership with all of us. It's a turnkey operation. You know, I've been an entrepreneur all my adult life, but most people have worked in corporate America or, or been working, you know, jobs and they don't really understand their entrepreneurial rights. And so when you join this opportunity for a one-time investment of $200, $60 a month, $2 a day, Yes, the incomes that we described came from a one-time investment, $200, $60 a month, $2 a day, and you join the largest industry in the world. But the thing that you're gonna receive that's gonna separate your business is mentorship and coaching and partnership from people like you, Pastor Francis, and so many other leaders you know, in different countries around the world. Um, and, and, and just keep an open mind. You don't know what you don't know. You have some of the top minds in the industry that are there to help you get out of this business what you're willing to put into this business. All of these gentlemen have transferred their gifts and talents that they've acquired all their life. You know, from competing in sports, as most men have grown up doing, to, to being in, in working a job or military or law enforcement. Or, or, or just working hard like, like, like we all have done. You'll be able to transfer those, that work ethic. You'll be able to transfer the character that you have, those people skills that you have. And, and we, we, we would love to help people monetize those gifts and talents and, and bring that talent over to what we believe is the fastest growing opportunity on the planet. And, I, and I'd like to pass it around so, uh, so these gentlemen uh, can attest to what I just said. This is a very simple business. If you're looking for something complicated or complex, you're probably going to miss this. Um, Mr. J. Stewart, would you agree with that? Mr. Bradley, I would concur 100%. I thought my, my head was going to fall off because I was nodding in agreement so much. It's just absolutely incredible from beginning to end. Um, I love the fact that what you stated, you know, it's a simple business. And, and if I can add, Mr. Bradley, it's a real business. And I've heard you say this before, and I'm just thinking as is we're listening on tonight. You know, a real champion sometimes only needs a real opportunity. And that's what planet marketing is from beginning to end. We know whether it's making money on the travel side, but then making that shift to understand that you get to open up outlets in the largest industry in the world is absolutely incredible. And then the income has been so consistent um, over the last eight years. And that's what people are looking for. They're looking for an opportunity that's going to pay them something that they can pay their rent with, something that they can take care of their family with, something that they can rely on. And I hope you don't guys don't mind me adding, but you know, over the course of the last eight years, and I've been chasing residual income for the last two decades, but for the last eight years, we've never missed a check. We've never been paid not on time. And if it has been not on time, it's been early. So it's a real opportunity. It's a simple opportunity. It's a it's a business opportunity that just makes sense. I'm gonna I'm gonna start adding something that I wish I could add on the screen. Uh, in addition to that $200 one-time investment at $60 a month at $2 a day. Bring some humility. Let us teach you. Let us show you. Let us show you how to turn, you know, um, you know, your gifts and talents into profit for you and your family. Uh, Mr. Gregory Scott, you know, uh, law enforcement, uh, retired, you know, at the top of at the top of your, your your craft. But in the meantime, you were able to on a part time basis, you and your lovely wife were able to create a, a really strong stream of income. Uh, and and it, was, it took a lot of humility for you. Being in law enforcement, trans, transferring your gifts and talents to the world of entrepreneurship and, and, and letting um, being guided in something that you, you that was new to you several years ago. Mr. Gregory Scott, would you agree there's a level of humility that it requires to come over and, and, and win at a high level? Mr. Bradley, it absolutely uh, requires a level of humility. 
But when you know that you have people um, that are in this company that um, are going to have a vested interest in your success and not your demise, and this is not a one-time thing where you meet someone, where you get engaged, where you get started in a company, but people that are willing to help you go from start to whatever finish is, uh, that separates this opportunity. The overwhelming number of people that I've been talking to over the last seven and a half years are literally blown away by the magnitude of the assistance that they're that that people are willing to give them, the guidance that they're willing to give them, regardless of how 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 much intellect they have, those that are willing to to come here with an empty cup and allow us as the industry professionals, allow us as the ones who have paved the way over the last seven and a half years for their success right now, and I'm talking about right now success, they're going to win at a high level. Um, you know, this is on Father's Day. There are some men on here that are trapped inside of um, their potential because they're puffed up, because of arrogance, because they think they've got it all together. And when you can admit that you don't have it all together and you can come here and you can allow us to help you, to show you, to guide you and direct you, man, it changes the game. And then you know you can bet on yourself at least one time, not on your employer, but bet on yourself and allow us to help you change your life because you don't have to do it by yourself. And we, as leaders, we're humble enough, even today, with the money, with the rings, with the change of lifestyle, even today, we're humble enough to know that we don't know it all but we're learning and growing every day. And we're allowing you, Mr. Bradley, and many of the upper uh, level leaders to show us that we don't know everything. And we're still staying humble, even today. And Greg, that's and Greg, that's, that's important because I, I needed help. You know, um, I, I don't know it all, I'm not enough. Uh, and I'm the founder and a visionary of the company. Um, so, so that's important part. Um, anybody who's ever played on a sports team, which most, most guys growing up, you know, we, we play some type of uh, uh, some type of organized sports and we, we know that individuals win games, but teams win championships. Uh, Mr. Orlando Moore, uh, it took a lot of humility for you coming out of the armed forces, coming out of the military as a drill instructor. You know, you didn't know what you didn't know. And, and my goodness, you are you are sitting on this Zoom tonight um, as a, a million dollar income earner. Uh, I would say it has a lot to do with your humility. You had you 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 decided to tra trade your ego in for equity, just as Mr. Stewart has, just as Mr. Scott has, just as many 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 men that's gonna that have come and joined forces with us. Mr. Moore, I want you to talk about that trading your ego into equity, learning how to leverage the time and talent of other people. Mr. Brad, that's important. Um, and what I've learned is that leverage is a wealth building principle. And the reason most people don't understand the power of leverage is because they don't have the wealthy mindset. If they really understood that you can leverage years of a vehicle like this, tools, resources, the power of leverage, it would really change the game and help people. But you don't know what you don't know. You got to maintain that level of humility. And I always personally tell people that partner with me, Mr. Bradley, because I fully understand the level of humility, I guarantee them three things. I said, remain coachable, remain teachable, let us help you. I guarantee you a high level of success. And you always taught me, I can give you the blueprint. And they still would want you to do the work. But if people were really remain humble, remain coachable, remain teachable, let us help them. Y'all, it's called game over. And last point, Mr. Bradley, everything we've gone through has prepared us for now. So everything you've gone through, all your experiences in the industry of network marketing and business, y'all, it has prepared you for now. And this is the vehicle that can take you to your wealthy place. And that's not far-fetched. And Pastor first up, I gotta I gotta add this in because a, a lot of men, I like like myself, you know, uh, like Mr. Gregory Scott, he was already making a six figure income, him and his wife, um, but they desired to go from doing well to becoming wealthy. And there's some a lot of a lot of us, we we work hard uh, to do well, but we're we're gonna speak to those individuals who de who desire to do well and, and help them become wealthy. 
uh, help them to be able to create a legacy that they can pass on to their children beyond their employment, beyond their own skill set. And again, we we always you know say there's we talk about six figure, but six figure ranges from a hundred thousand to nine hundred ninety nine thousand. And, and, and as uh, Mr. Stewart and uh, Mr. Scott are going through those multiple six figures on their way to going through the multiple six figures uh, to get to where Mr. Moore is at seven figures, as Mr. Moore goes from six figures a month to his next objective is a quarter of a million dollars a month, half a million dollars a month, a million dollars a month. And, and I have to say that because we are talking to men tonight. And we, we, you know, sometimes there are people, men who need to hear that, that aggressive conversation. You know, they, they're not in the beginning of their career. They may be at, at that place where um, where we are. You know, I turned 55 years old in May. It's very serious. I understand that clock, you know, and I am determined to leave a, a, a will and not a bill. I am determined to leave a legacy, not only for my children, but for my children's children. So uh, the, four, the, the four of us that you interview tonight, we have very aggressive goals, not just for ourselves, again, but for our children and our children's children. And I'm proud to say tonight that the opportunity that we all are part of will provide that. Wow, I'm over here um, just full. In fact, uh, our, our CFO, another gentleman out here, Mr. Andy Cawthon is full, just, you know, watching and he's texting just how um, this is just, you know, just life changing what we're hearing on tonight. Um, and, and that's what it is, Mr. Bradley. I, I appreciate it. Those of you that are out here on tonight, you've heard it. Um, we share with you ways in which you can travel the world um, and have an amazing time, but you also can leave an incredible legacy. One of the things that we want to make sure that you do do is that you make sure you connect with the person that invited you out tonight. I saw people saying, I'm ready. I'm ready to get started. What do I do? I saw someone, you put your email out there. Now y'all watch it. He put his email out there, but you didn't invite him on. So don't you send him an email. Okay. He just wants to know how he could get started. So make sure that you connect back with the person who invited you out on on tonight get your questions answered um anything that you need to know listen it's leverage we're here to serve each other we're here to support one another and make sure that you get started on this crusade to really secure a legacy mr bradley closing comments and then we're ready to go out uh, well <clears throat> and i, I just want to uh, speak to everybody uh because many of us uh we went through life especially if we we consider ourselves champions we got to a place in life where we thought we'd be further along Right. Where we said, man, when I turned 40, I thought I would have this. When I turned 50, I thought I would have that. I thought, right, we didn't know the pandemic was coming. We didn't know the banking system and the mark and the real estate market would crash in 2008. Uh, but it's okay, because this is the great equalizer. That's what I love most about it, especially in the position that we're in right now, the timing of this opportunity when it's hitting the ears of the prospects tonight. 92,000 strong, 20 different countries book over $1.8 billion worth of travel, aver averaging $75 million a month. Seven years old, about to celebrate our eight year anniversary. We've averaged bringing in over 10,000 new agents every single year, even through the pandemic. It's a very, very strong opportunity. And we've done some amazing things, but we are just getting started. This can be the great equalizer. This can be you know, something that will help you catch up on that retirement account. This can be something that will help you, you know, pay off some of that debt. You know, so this is the great equalizer. And that's what I would like to leave with everybody, not only the prospects that's on this line, but our partners. This is the great equalizer. Please take advantage of it in the time is now. Back to you, Pastor Francis. Thank you so much for having me on this Zoom. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. Um, we just want to tell everybody, welcome to the best place on the planet. Have an amazing evening. Happy Father's Day to all of our fathers and father the figures out there. We look forward to seeing you not just at the top, but at the very tip top. Have a great evening, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. <laughs>